We need a provincial leader with strong connections to the federal party, close contacts in our federal organization, and a good relationship with our federal leader. NDP leader Thomas Mulcair says our resource economy destabilizes the country. By putting all our economic eggs in the resource development basket, they destabilize the country. Mulcair blames the West for killing jobs in the East. These are the NDP leadership candidates. They support Mulcair. Not one of them has said he's wrong. Not one. The NDP think our resource sector is bad for Canada. Do we really want a leader who won't stand up for Saskatchewan? Well, I think the Premier the, the, did uh, raise a very important uh, point, uh, which is that uh, the development of petroleum resources has really inflated the Canadian dollar, and that has made manufacturing exports uh, less competitive. Uh, but I wouldn't frame it so much as a regional issue. I mean, this affects manufacturers in Alberta as well. One of the reasons that all the bitumen being extracted from the tar sands is not being processed in Alberta is that the Canadian dollar is so high, and it's therefore being shipped uh, south of the border. So, I mean, I think there's an important <coughs> issue here, but I don't think it should always be framed as a conflict between different provinces. You won't be surprised if, if media tend to want to play it that way, though. That does yeah, sell and newspapers. I won't be surprised if the Premier of Alberta wants to play it that way right before mm -hmm. her uh, provincial election. So, I get the politics of it, but uh, economically, I think there actually are some uh, solutions that would benefit uh, both regions. For example, if we believe that currency is overvalued, the Bank of Canada could actually step in to bring it down to a more uh, moderate level. Our central bank effectively has an unlimited supply of Canadian dollars that it could sell uh, to damp down the exchange rate. And over the past year, we've seen a lot of other countries around the world do exactly that. The central banks of uh, Switzerland, uh, Brazil, Japan have all taken that sort of action. The term before, Dutch disease. Tell us what that means. Well, it's basically the idea that an appreciation of natural resource uh, exports drives up a country's currency uh, to the point where um, other exports are no longer competitive in uh, outside markets and imports actually become uh, much more competitive in the domestic market. It's are called Dutch disease because this happened to Holland in the 1960s when a lot of oil and gas was discovered uh, in the North Sea and I guess I would suggest that it's happening to Canada now. Well that's what I want to know. Do you think we're suffering from Dutch disease right now? I mean, I do think so. I think there's absolutely no doubt, uh, you know, as Avery mentioned, uh, that all of this uh, resource development is driving up the exchange rate. And it's not just the inflow of foreign currency uh, to buy the resources themselves. It's also the inflow of foreign currency to buy equity in the resource industries. So foreign investors buying Canadian <laughs> dollars to take over Canadian oil companies or to buy shares in those companies, all of this drives up the currency. And yeah, there's no question, it's destroyed a lot of manufacturing jobs in this country. In this country named Pierre Trudeau, who came up with the same kind of left-wing vision, steal the money from the corporations that you're espousing here, and he, he nationalized energy. It was a disaster for Canadians. Grown men wept for decades trying to get money back in the sector. Surely you don't want to do this. This is just a really bad idea. Well, there's a couple of other guys named Alan Blakeney and Peter Lougheed that collected uh, far higher royalties from their uh, oil and gas industry when prices went up in the 1970s and created windfall profits. And it was a very good thing for the people of those provinces. It led to a lot more public infrastructure and better public services. But uh, I mean, so we're about the same as Saskatchewan, but they get vastly more in, uh, in revenue. Uh, apparently. Uh, well, that's right, and partly what that reflects is that Saskatchewan has these super profitable potash mines, so if you look at the royalties from those as a percentage of just the gross values of sales, it looks like a higher royalty rate. I mean, I've actually argued in other uh, forums that Saskatchewan is collecting uh, far less potash royalty revenue than it could. We've heard so, a lot of observers saying the revenue is derisory compared to the profits. Yeah, so I wouldn't put Saskatchewan forward as some kind of high water mark, uh, but it does sort of underscore just how badly Ontario is doing and how weak uh, Ontario's uh, resource return is. Of course, the resource producers like to say, oh, we pay all these corporate taxes, but everybody pays taxes, so what's new there? Well, that's exactly it. And an